Ever wondered if you're using the right amount of batteries for your 1000 watt inverter? By the end of this video, you will discover the answer that many people get wrong. If you don't do this, your battery can degrade faster. I will also talk about the correct way to find out the wire and fuse size for this inverter. In my previous video about how many batteries you need for a 3000 watt inverter, we limited the current to 100 amps by increasing the battery's voltage. Let's find out if we have to do that again. We get 83 amps, which is under 100 amps. We can use a 12 volt battery with a 1000 watt inverter. The reason for limiting the current to 100 amps is to save costs on wiring and the charge controller. If you have many 12 volt appliances, like an RV, you can skip this step. Later in the video, I will talk about the main reason for properly sizing the battery. Let's calculate the required batteries if you use lead acid. After this, we will do another calculation for lithium. The C rate of lead acid battery is 0.2 C. This means that the 12 volt 100 amp hour lead acid battery is best to be discharged with a maximum of 20 amps. From our previous calculation, we saw that the inverter can draw a maximum of 83 amps. We need 4 batteries in parallel if we want to respect the C rate of the battery. Stick with me here, I will show you why. If we wire 4 batteries in parallel, the capacity or amp hour increases, and the voltage stays the same. We now have a battery bank of 12 volts and 400 amp hours. Let's find out the maximum current we should draw from the battery. We can see that we can draw a current of 80 amps. This is very close to the calculated current the inverter will draw, which was 83 amps. Now the system is perfectly sized for a lead acid battery. But what about lithium? What do you think? Will a single lithium battery be sufficient? Let's see. A lithium battery has a recommended C rate of 1C. So a 12 volt 100 amp hour lithium battery can deliver a current of 100 amps. From our previous calculation, we saw that a 1000 watt inverter can draw a maximum of 83 amps. This is well below the recommended discharge current for a lithium battery, so we only have to use one 12 volt 100 amp hour lithium battery with a 1000 watt inverter. Did you get it right? You may be wondering why these calculations are necessary. The key to efficiency lies in matching the battery with the maximum inverter's current draw. Let's illustrate this with an example based on the lead acid battery. If we just use one battery for a 1000 watt inverter, it operates at 4 times its recommended discharge rate. Such a scenario leads to excessive heat generation, causing energy loss and potentially shortening the battery's lifespan. This is because deep cycle lead acid batteries are not designed to handle such high current demands. Therefore, to minimize heat induced losses and prevent battery wear, it's essential to properly size the battery. By following the outlined methods, we ensure a harmonious and efficient operation of our solar power system. Let's explore what wire and fuse sizes you need in the system. As you already know, our system draws a current of 83 amps. Applying a safety factor of 125%, the current requirement becomes 104 amps. We need to select a wire capable of handling this current. Since a 3 gauge wire isn't readily available, we will choose for a 2 gauge or 35 mm square wire with a 90 degree Celsius insulation temperature rating. For fuse selection, we aim for a capacity between the system's current requirement of 104 amps and the wire's maximum capacity of 130 amps. A 125 amp mega fuse is ideal for our setup. Only use fuses from Busman, Littlefuse, Siemens or Schneider. Ensure the length of this cable is as short as possible. If this is a long cable, you need to apply a voltage drop calculation. Got ideas for my next video? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and subscribe for more content. And check out these videos next.